Hi everyone. Okay, so you need a card in a hurry. I always need a card in a hurry because I'm always forgetting people's birthdays. This can't be any easier. I've got my base card, which is from my Wow card stock, cut in half, A4 sheet, and then folded over. I like tent fold styles. Then I've got another piece of Wow card, which is exactly the same size as this piece, which I've cut out from the pocket full of happiness, pierced heart, background die. Don't forget, you get all these little bits to keep. I don't know if you can see those there, if they're in the way of the camera. So you can use these for shaker cards. You can use them afterwards to just add little bits, but don't throw them away. Okay, so we are going to use this bit first of all. So we've just got our base card. I'm gonna use my mint tape in a minute. So I'm just gonna go along. I'm just gonna go direct to card and I'm gonna swipe. So just keep building that colour, go around this side if you need to. It goes on darker and it's going to dry lighter. So I'm just going to get that on there. And then I'm going to take a piece of this. Actually, if I go, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to change my mind slightly and go back in there. So I can just get that. So I've got a nice straight line. I don't know why I like straight lines. So let's just go on there. Okay, now we're gonna pick this up. And you could do it so it's bigger there and then slowly the lines get smaller. You don't have to do it so that they all sit inside, if you know what I mean. Like that one, we're gonna get the next color there. And that's absolutely fine. It really doesn't matter. It's preferable if this is dry before you stick your next lot of tape on because if you're sticking your tape on and it's still wet, it won't stick properly. But my little tip is to leave a little bit of the colour sticking out. So this just will overlap a tiny bit. Oh, there we go. See, look, it's not dry. So let's just get that back on there. And I'm going to do another bit on here so i've got a nice solid line again let's go about there okay let's get our pucker up pucker up buttercup get that on there and then we can take oops this one off and then we can remove this one. If you're really in a rush and you haven't got time for it to dry, just take your heat tool and give it a little zap. Okay, let's get our next one. So we're gonna go on here. So remember, just leave a tiny little bit of it showing. Doesn't have to be a lot. And I might, hmm, shall I go wider? I think I'll go wider again. So I've got wide, narrow, wider, narrow. Something like that. <laughs> I don't ever beat myself up on these things. Right, Skylight needs re-inking desperately. Look at that. So don't forget you can pat it in as well. Get lots of that ink on there. And this is why re-inkers are so important. Okay. Like so. We're going to be covering a lot of it up anyway. So let's just pull that off. I probably should have gone limoncello there, to be honest. But now we're going to have our limoncello at the bottom. So let me just place that there. Grab our limoncello. Oh, see, look, not dry again. I'm so impatient, honestly. Let me just hold it in place. Grab an ink. Okay. So you could you could do this with blending brushes. You don't have to do it direct. I just like how um, intense the colours are when you go direct. 
So let's just have a little, oh, look at that. That looks gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that. I could do it so I have the yellow at the top. Do I like that better? Oh, do you know what? I think I quite like that. I think I prefer it with the yellow at the top. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, so let's just, have I turned it over? Nope. <laughs> let's grab our glue. And I'm just going to glue this. Okay, so let's just line that up at the bottom. Bring it to the top, give it a little pat. And that's the nice thing with liquid glue. You can move it about a little bit. If you're slightly different, oh look, I just smudged it. Oh, okay, that's where my sentiment is gonna go then. <laughs> Or a little heart, I don't know yet. Look, I've got a tiny little bit sticking out of the colour. So I'm just going to grab this. And then just take a tiddly bit off. Get rid of that. Okay. Do, do, do. And then this is going to go on there like so. I do love white on white. So again, beautiful. Right, is my little, oh look, this one's already got foam pads on it. Oh, a note to make you smile, there you go. That'll do. See, look, that can go there. Or do I wanna put it there, cover that up? Or do I, because I've got that line there and now I haven't got them anywhere else. So, do I put that there and then pop a little, little white heart or two? Let's have a look. Mm, maybe. Maybe. You know what I could use? It might be too late now, especially as I can't find it. Oh, I could never find this thing. I've got um a little sander thing that just... Oh, look. I wonder where my little sander thing is. It's not even little. Let's get a little cotton bud. I think I could get away with that, you know. If you don't tell, I won't tell. Okay. Take these off. Is that on straight? Probably not. <laughs> I'm not very good at getting things straight anymore. I used to be. I used to be a curtain maker. Gone of those days. But look, isn't that lovely? Quick and simple. Thanks for watching. Bye.